What I'm saying is, if it was me, I'd have dumped her in a lay-by. Bandages off then, Doug? Mm, not before time. I've said I'm sorry. Diane's just called from town. She's gone berserk in the baby shop. I'm going to need both hands to help her unload the car. And the skin's still very taut. He's apologised, Doug. End of. Like taking coast to Newcastle, I told her. That family, they could afford a solid gold cot if they wanted one. I'll right, see you up at the yard. Aaron, son, I didn't think... It's not been a day old and I'm already sick of this baby. I am knackered. Everything hurts. And they won't let me have a shower until they've checked my stitches. At least you didn't have to squat and squeeze him out in a lay-by. Yeah, thanks to poor Aaron. The relief when he realised he wouldn't have to roll up his sleeves and deliver thing. Thing? Yes, the name is a work in progress until I speak to Robert. What before he runs off for his shiny new life in Slough? Wherever he ends up, he'll have this baby's best interests at heart. I thought he'd be here by now. You're not stopping. I wouldn't if I were you. He's a bit wound up about your baby. You know that massive pile of scraps on the other side of the yard? Well, the copper wiring needs sorting, so... Just the pink stuff, though. What's in your box? Mugs, a few photos. You and me. So it's true, then? You've got a job somewhere and you're leaving? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. There's no job, though. Never was. I've got to get out of here. Hours after your son's been born. Yeah, he'll be better off without me. <laughs> you all will. So they know you've been slipping Lawrence pills and chucked you out then, yeah? If I go, that kid's got a fighting chance of a life, a real life, full of all the things I used to have but chucked away. If I stay, then... It might turn out like me. Join us for a drink. Robert's had a baby. Oh, <laughs> he is indeed the miracle of modern science. Don't spare it. Oh, it's Rebecca. They're going to be home this afternoon. Poor oh, kid. Back to that nest of vipers. He's a Sugden as well. We'll see him right. Put our differences aside. Like Aaron did yesterday. Like how? He drove Rebecca to the hospital. Selfish cow. Every chance she's had, she's rubbed his nose in it. Well, it's not exactly what she'd written down in a birth plan either but they were grown-ups and they dealt with it. And that's what we have to do. We might not get on or even particularly like each other. Come off it, Diane. You loathe the lot of them. If we want to be part of that baby's life, we just have to grit our teeth and get on with it. Like Robert has 